Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to be honest. I've been dreading this so much coming up here. I, when I got the call um, and to ask what I was going to be doing on the 20th, I thought I was going to get asked to photograph the event for someone. And I was like, oh, that sounds great. And then when they said, oh, do you want to speak? I was like, ah, oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Anyway, um, so I just want to thank you for inviting me to be here. And hopefully I've got something interesting to say. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about myself today and then my series, um, Valley Nights. Which some of them's already up there. Yep. Okay, I have a uh, Bachelor of Fine Art with honors in photography. And um, I really got into art because I felt that I really wanted to visually communicate my ideas. And about second year of my degree, I, I moved across to photography and in particular documentary photography as I felt it was the best way to do that. I'll try not to read my palm cards. It'll be cool, guys. Um, I'm really interested in like human behavior and really what drives behavior within a society, uh, what makes things acceptable and other things not acceptable, and basically why we do the things we do. And I really like the idea that my images could look at a part of culture that's not often seen or look at a part of culture that's seen often and show it in a different way. And that's um, really what this series was attempting to do, look at a mainstream idea and show a different side of it. Uh, in terms of my experience of this place, um, it's, it's one of those rites of passage that young people are really sort of enticed toward when they're growing up. And I was the same. I was, I was at school, and it was one of those things everybody talked about. It's going to be this crazy place. Everybody, everything's happening all the time. There's no downtime. And then when I got there, it was really different. There was just so much time when I felt really alone and, and sort of just waiting for things to happen. I just wander the streets sort of wondering if anything cool is finally going to happen. And that, that's sort of how I felt when I was there. And I sort of almost was acting. I felt to try and meet this expectation of what, what the scene promises and what you're meant to be like when you're there. And I felt that a lot of other people were doing the exact same thing as me. This idea of what clubbing is is really built into us long before we're anywhere near it. It's, it's portrayed in TV, movies, music videos, and other forms of media as this wild, crazy, exciting place. And it really gives you an exact perception of what the place is and how you're meant to experience it. And what I was really more interested in was showing sort of elements of the mundane, the alienation, disconnection, the elements that I experienced but I felt weren't depicted anywhere for some reason. And that's really the idea behind this Valley series. I wanted to show a different side of this place that was not often shown and really I felt not accepted and try and show those little in-between moments. I wanted to go to a place that was shown as a constant up and show the downs. I feel that sense of isolation I really felt when I was there is, is quite evident in my series. I wasn't there to photograph every, every part of the Valley or every part of this idea of what a clubbing experience is. I was really there to photograph the section I felt was missing as part of a collective group of images of this environment. And the idea was that images from other media, music videos, portrayed those other parts of this place and they would all mix together. In terms of making the series, I'd sort of I'd go out between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. on weekends, and it wasn't actually a very easy series for me to get into, mainly because I didn't really want to walk around the street alone with my camera at night. Um, so it took a really long time for me to actually get to the street. I started out in the passenger seat of a car waiting for red lights and trying to take pictures. <laughs> if you can imagine, that's the creepiest thing you've ever seen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then that just did not work. So I finally, uh, I made my way, I got access to a club and I shot there for about a month. And then I got finally enough confidence to get out into the actual valley and walk the streets, but it was a constant sort of battle. I, I would, um, I'd, I'd go out there and I'd take pictures for like 10 or 15 minutes and then I'd hide in a little coffee shop for an hour. So it was just a constant battle for me. And when, I remember when I was starting to get uh, enough confidence to do everything, I, I took a shot and there was a guy in the foreground and, and um, he'd seen me and I said, oh, do you mind being in this picture? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited tonight. My friend just got out of prison for murder. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> It was one of those things where it's really difficult to get that, that confidence and 
it's not something I want to talk about that much because there's like war photographers and stuff like that, but it's just a constant battle to get that confidence there. Um, yeah, and just street photography in general is kind of an art form in itself, and it's not something I'd done that much of before, and so I really had to learn while I was there. And also the lighting. The lighting in this place, it's just so dark, but I only really had the option of using flash or the light that was there, and if you use flash, it really just kills the environment, I felt, so I just sort of had to deal with, you know, yeah, I had to deal with it, yeah. But really, the main issue for me in this whole series was um, this idea of going out there with the camera. And people really sort of know how they're meant to behave in this scene and know how they're meant to be shown in this scene. So if you have a camera, they act up for the camera. And it's really difficult to get those moments that are unguarded or... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, he was asleep, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, but um, really, that, that, that's, that's what the project's been about. I'm, I'm quite proud of being able to get these images, considering where I started. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Yeah, I'm, re I'm really quite proud of um, being able to get these images, considering how hard it was for me to actually get out into this place. And I, I hope that um, they do actually add something to the perception of people looking at this environment. So thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.